on this week's episode of Three Dad Pod. Now let's talk about housing, though. That's where mm. that's where things are a little crazy. So, what's the average medium house cost today? Half million, five hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah, about three hundred fifty to four hundred is actually about four hundred is the medium price right now as of today. Uh, Nineteen eighty. This is this would probably be expensive in Utah. Sarcastic, witty, and not afraid to mix it up. Pop open a cold one and welcome to Three Dad Bots. Well, there's a couple others that I wanted to mention, and I, I'll just throw a few in. Remember those Columbia House mailers? Oh, you remember that? <laughs> I just, one penny, I just made my last payment. I just made my last payment. Ten CDs. <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden, your mom comes to you and you're like, "Brent, you ke- you keep getting this bill from Columbia House," <laughs> and you're like, "What? What?" And it's like twelve ninety nine. I'm like, "Wow, that's a lot of money. I don't have twelve ninety nine. <laughs> your mom's like, "That's why you should never <laughs> sign up for contracts, Brent." Oh, the Columbia, Columbia House. House screwed it up. Yeah. Oh God, I um, had it made. The other one, dodgeball. Mm. I can still hear that ping. I can still hear that ping. (laughs) Dude, it it got literally scary in our ward dodgeball sessions because that court was so small. Mm. And everybody would get carpet burns. And then you'd always want the strongest guys on your team. Separate the men from the boys. Who in the right mind ever came up with the idea of putting carpet in a gym? What? Or in a cultural hall, I guess. Right? Wow, whose yeah. bright idea was that? The worst rug burns ever oh on that gosh. floor. Trying to play You're basketball. Right. Water beds. Tracy and I had a water bed. I had a water when bed. She was pregnant. <laughs> Have you ever tried to get out of a water bed when you're a big person? She couldn't get out. I've never been a big when person. When she was pregnant. So, like, to get out to go to the bathroom, I'd have to make a wave for her. <laughs> She'd ride the wave and help. <laughs> All right. I have a question because no one will answer this question. What's it like, like, you know, oh. in the waterbed? Is that is that where it, it pretty the rocky popularity? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. But the worst, I don't know if you guys remember, if you had one, yeah, is the first night because you'd have to fill it up with cold. the garden hose, and it was ice cold. You know, it took oh. forever to warm up. <laughs> Be good on a summer night, maybe. But wow, mm, it's always cold. Very fun, brutal. So. Brutal. Okay. Yeah, I we had and they bed. stunk, and sometimes they would stink. You'd, You'd walk have to put the room. stuff in there. You'd have to put the the mold the conditioner in there. Ooh. Yep. And then one last one: and uh, station wagons. So you don't see those anymore very often. Well, I guess there's a few companies. The out bachelors. There still they had that gigantic one with the seat in the very, very back, folded out of the floor and faced rear. I don't from you. I don't oh. remember the bachelors having we one had, of those. We had the ugliest station wagon in the entire neighborhood. Who had? Oh yeah, which families? Had a giant station wagon. Which family had, had the them? had the automatic window in the back? We had one with yellow base and then brown siding. I remember it that? Ho- horrible, <laughs> and then. We finally got rid of it because I was in the car with my dad going to work, and some lady just blindsided us. Those suckers were like tanks, though. Yeah, you I mean, probably never even felt a thing, did you? <laughs> oh, yeah. It wrapped the frame immediately because it was an Oldsmobile that hit us, but it moved about three feet. That was about it. I was like, my dad was a little shocked, I think, more than I was. But, uh, yeah, we got rid of that, and then we got the Astro van. But, the that, but before that. You guys always forget we rode, we drove it all the way to Disneyland one year, where my sister and I would sit in the back and face the other direction, and then you'd make faces at other people on the yes. freeway. Or... Griswolds. <laughs> yes. The Chevy Chase came out with his vacation I, movie. That was awesome. I remember. You know what? Brent, this, didn't you this guys have a station of wagon too, Brent? Because I I swear I remember going to. Yeah. We, had a, no, we had a Subaru. We had a Subaru. Sean, do you remember this? Do you remember in Scouts, we made puppets Yeah. on strings? Yeah, I remember that. And we went to that special needs home in American Fork, and we were supposed to do a puppet show for them, okay? And as we started doing the puppet show, the people there, and it was an adult special needs home, 
they freaked out. Like they went nuts <laughs> and they started throwing things and screaming. And I remember, I don't know if it was you, Sean, or I was with somebody, we threw the table down and we were hiding behind it. <laughs> oh no, I remember. <laughs> I, I remember. You scared the hell out of old people. No, they weren't. No, they, were, they were just special needs they, adults. They went but crazy. They, I remember that. Scared the crap out of us. That I mean, oh my gosh! I, <laughs> that was so funny. That's funny. Oh, that's good. That's good. I forgot about we that. We feared for our lives. Yeah. That, and no, you know what's funny too about that era? No one wore seatbelts. No one. I mean, I, I remember some after some scout meetings where we'd, you know, on Tuesday nights, and then you'd be out in the parking lot with someone's truck in the snow, and then you'd be like, you have a ski rope or pole behind it, and you're doing donuts and swinging us around on the. I'm just like, that's so dangerous, and yeah. we didn't care. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sean, tell us what. Like, we have now that we didn't have then. Oh, well, things that we have now, the internet. What are some of the good things that come along with, and the bad things that come along with that? So you've got the Encyclopedia Britannica is now on online. You don't have to uh, go to your uh, bookshelf and look up 20 different books to try to find anything. Google, right? You used to have to go to the card catalog of the at the yeah. library to go look anything up, right? Um, what else? You just look on your phone. <laughs> well, now you just look on your phone. But even, even... That's actually better than the 80s. That's no, way better. I mean, the televisions go, you know, I'm, I've got an 86-inch uh, television uh, on the wall that, uh, I mean, can you imagine, Brent, when you were offloading your... Uh, the LCDs that you have nowadays. I mean, you'd have to have if it was eighty inches, you would have to have like it would have a to be crane a crane to lift that thing out. Well, it would be as big as your house. Yeah, the yeah. tubes that would have to have been in there. Yeah, crazy, super crazy. Your electric bill would have been seven hundred bucks a month on something like that too. <laughs> well, they probably are now anyway. But back then, yeah, it would have been three thousand dollars. Yeah. Back then, yeah. Fuel what injection about, on your cars. What about Bluetooth? Like the Bluetooth? ability to have speakers everywhere, you know? Like anywhere you want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was some cool stuff. Like I remember one year, Glenn and I, um, we had this big idea. We were, you know, we were, I don't know, it was in the 80s sometime. And uh, I said, wouldn't it be cool if you had real ta or miniature tanks and airplanes and you could remotely fly them around, and you could see who you're attacking, and then they come out with drones, <laughs> and then yeah. everybody's got a drone now. It's like common stuff, and and you think you would have never imagined that you could do some of these things that we always thought would be wow, wouldn't that be cool back in the eighties? Okay, if someday we could. So here's do that. a question. And now they do. Have you ever knowing, seen? Have you knowing, ever seen a drone show? Knowing what you know now about yourself as a teenager. If you had the technology like a drone, what would you have been doing with it in the 80s if you could have? I know. Back when I was at that time? You would have been well, flying it over somebody's look, house. I just got catching to cell phone cameras back when I was a teenager. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who, who's laying out today? Okay. <laughs> yep. Brent, you were going to say something. I cut you off. You okay, Carl? Oh, I, well, yeah, no, I accidentally I was, cut off the my mic there. Sorry. I, I was wondering if, if you guys have ever seen them drone shows where, like, they'll do all these, they'll have, like, a thousand drones up in the air, and they do these shapes and stuff, and they spin around. It's really cool if you've ever seen one before. Awesome. I don't know. They'll do, like, a guy walking in the air and stuff. Really neat. Well, they do some some of the well in Utah, of course, because this is pretty popular, LDS temples. There, there's some guys that have done some really good like real estate videos and and flyovers all around the temple or up in the canyon. My son has a drone and he was up at American Fort Canyon la last weekend, and uh, he took some really good shots. So yeah, drones make drones are a game changer when it comes to videography and and videos. I mean, you used to have to have a helicopter. How expensive those were to fly around and get some of those those flyover shots that you see sometimes now. 
I was so, in one. Things, what, in a helicopter? Mm-hmm. Or where was yep. that at? We worked for an ad Hawaii? agency. And, and No, it was here in Nashville, and, and we were doing mm-hmm. property assessment. It was one of those old news helicopters with the bubble. Mm-hmm. It was awesome. I loved it, man. It was so cool. That would have been <laughs> for, that could have been pretty exciting, actually. It was, it was awesome, it, man. So. Very cool. Well, you know, you, can you think of anything else, Sean? You know, the Internet's the biggest thing. Just all the technology that goes into all of the cell phones. And so, the cell phones started coming out when we were in high school, right? So um, I remember somebody, I can't remember, mm-hmm. there was a kid whose dad had yeah, a construction blocks. company and he had a phone in his in his truck, but it was like a, it was a wall phone, but it was in the console area of the truck or something. It was, yeah, now everybody's got one of these it's crazy what well, and i think the world owes al gore a big thanks for inventing yeah the thank you al gore yeah absolutely <laughs> we are we we, we, we. <laughs> you know what's funny though um you guys asked me to look into something too um uh what's changed in terms of price prices um and that that's that was an interesting question i was uh looking into that and i i I came across some real surprises though i I thought everything was going to be costing much more you know obviously with this inflation in the last few years and then even at two or three or normal five percent inflation prices over 30 years change quite dramatically usually so uh but i was looking at this chart when we're i was doing some research for this cast and uh, okay, let's 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 play a game here. All right, what's the average gallon of gas right now? Is about what three fifty to four dollars, right? Yeah, I paid two eighty one. with that? Okay, well, I mean, it varies. No, but, wherever but that's you're that's at. correct. That's correct. That, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. In nineteen eighty, guess how much it was? Eighty nine. Would say fifty seven cents. No, it was a little higher actually. Eighty nine. It was dollar twenty five. Was but it? you got to account for New York and California, guys. So, so yeah, a dollar twenty-five, right? So, I mean, it's difference of about one hundred and eighty percent. Now, average inflation, you'd probably think it'd be a little higher. Gas. That's why I think right now our gas prices really aren't that high compared to um, what they were back in nineteen eighty. When you take into account inflation, it depends on where you are, though. In California, they're incredibly high. Now let's talk about housing though. That's where mm. things are a little crazy. So what's the average medium house cost today? Half a million. Five hundred thousand? Yeah, yeah. About three fifty to four hundred is actually about four hundred is the medium price right now as of today. Uh nineteen eighty. This is this would probably be expensive in Utah. Twenty thousand. I would say grand. really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say they're lower than that because I I remember in I remember when Matt bought his house in ninety three he got it for like sixty three thousand. Yeah, so there's a difference of six hundred percent. I mean, it's a yeah. huge. I would so say that's probably the larger one of the largest lot. things. My Isn't first house home, home prices. I paid seventy thousand for my first house and it was built in nineteen thirty nine, and yeah. And I sold it. I remember I sold it for 150. Mm. And I thought, holy cow! I can't believe I'm getting this much. You probably built that house for five thousand dollars back in 19. Probably less. And yeah. They probably built that house for like two or three thousand <laughs> back in 1939. Yep, probably. <laughs> but remember, too, homes were made and built so everybody could have a home. That was the whole premise of of homes. You know, through that building boom in the 90s, everybody could have a home and it's not like that anymore at all. Okay. So for cars, this is mm. the one that, um, yeah, I, I was a little surprised, but okay. 2023, the average new car, 60. if you have to get 50, yeah, 40, 50, 60, 000, yeah. right. It's well, if you, if you get an actual gas powered car, yeah, it's still about 40. The electric ones, I think get those around cars, 70. You have to pay a little more, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in 1980, guess how much they were for a brand new car? Eight thousand. Thirty-five hundred. Nope. Huh. Eight thousand. Yep. Sean's right. Yep. About eight thousand. Seventy-nine ninety-nine. I remember this for a wow. Mustang, you know, <laughs> at the local Ford dealership. So, yeah. So not quite as much as the houses, but 
We're getting yeah, there. But, I mean, um, we were also making okay, gallon minimum of milk wage was in, uh, 335, 325 an hour. And and now it's like 15. Yeah, that's right. I don't know. That's right. Uh, uh, like uh, Sean, how much? So which two of you have gone shopping with your wife recently? What's a gallon of milk cost? If you guys don't know, I'll call you George Bush Sr. Like 220 Three bucks? No. No. Three, Sean's right on the money again. 350 and then what? What did it cost back in 1980? This is going to shock you a little bit. Buck 25. Not too much different. Maybe 250. A buck. Buck 25. A buck 50. So that, that's so compared to the previous three I mentioned, that's actually got, uh, gone up the least. So this is the one that that kind of flipped me out. I was like, "Are you kidding?" So in 2023, a flight from New York to LA costs about how much? One way, six hundred. One way or round trip, or I guess you could do either one. Six eight hundred, six fifty. One way is three hundred. No, it's about three hundred. Actually, one way it just depends on who you go. It's I like, know from here well, to Salt Lake, round trip is eight hundred. One way is three hundred, according to this, and I've actually seen that. Jet Blue, you yeah. can go for three hundred bucks. Uh, Nineteen eighty. How much was one way? Three hundred. I I have no idea. <laughs> no, five hundred. Yeah. So it was like two hundred dollars more. It costs thousand bucks to go round but, trip from yeah, New York you know to why? LA. Because the difference with that is you only had like three airlines. <laughs> you had What's less that? flight. You had, you had less flights than like three airlines back in nineteen eighty. Right, they but they also did more were, too. Got, you would have an actual meal. Oh, it was of an event. Government regulations uh, on the airlines. Sean's were right; huge. they were regulated. And when they when the deregulation of the airlines came through, prices went down a lot because then they weren't being forced to do specific things. And yeah, anytime the government deregulates something, the pricing goes down. So, yep. Well, what's more important though is you guys got to remember too. Bills. Even even though it's only three hundred bucks round or single way, it's even when you look at how much the dollars worth now versus then. I mean, it's even more of a savings because back, I mean, five hundred bucks was a lot. Of, I mean, that's a lot of money back in nineteen eighty. Where three hundred dollars, I mean, you earn that one day. Where it'd take you months to earn that kind of money at a regular job uh, back in nineteen eighty. I mean, it's like personal computers, Sean. You remember that? Uh, How much was it for a personal computer like, that was very subpar to what like we have two now? Like two grand, two, for two and a half system. thousand dollars. Yeah, it was it was quite a bit. Now now you get them for three hundred bucks. And what can you get for five hundred bucks oh, now? Really, pretty decent yeah. stuff. Yeah. So it's a eighty-three percent markdown. For... Yeah. So, but again, it's one of those things where and then Brent... the, if the government stays out of it, pricing goes down. It's like your TV, this eighty-six inch TV yeah, that yeah. I got on that I was saying uh, earlier about. <laughs> it was, uh, I think it was like twelve hundred bucks or fifteen hundred dollars or yeah. something. You know, even ten years ago when plasmas came yeah. out, it was five yeah, thousand dollars for a for a thirty inch. You know, so yeah, totally different. If yeah, if the government was in charge of any well, of that, like it when, would be ten grand. Well, it's <laughs> like a microwave. You can go into any. Walmart and get a microwave for less than a hundred bucks. Yeah. You can get one yeah. for twenty five bucks. And you can go on uh, KSL dot com and get it for twenty bucks, right? And you'd pay five hundred dollars or four hundred dollars back in the eighties yeah. for a microwave, and your mom would I, be. I remember the first microwave that my mom got. It was like life had that been cool. reinvented, you know. <laughs> this you is mean, like this, this is like George take Jetson. Forty minutes to cook it only takes three minutes. <laughs> George Jetson. Yeah, it was incredible. <laughs> it was amazing. So sometimes we get all caught up and like we'll be around the water cooler at work and bitching about how expensive everything is. But in reality, new technology costs a lot of money for development and when you first introduce it. But over time, it actually makes things more available to people who make less money, which is equalizer. Um, the things that are costing us more now, though are like these assets like homes and cars or vehicles which is kind of questionable if a vehicle is an it's asset not, but 
Do you guys uh, remember? Do you guys remember that movie Wedding Singer? Yeah. Where yeah. Where the guy's talking about he got this new thing that plays CDs. His CD oh, players yeah. it's like gigantic and it only cost me four thousand dollars. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get them for twenty five bucks now. Yes. <laughs> I don't even think some stores carry them anymore. You can't even get them. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, the eighties. The eighties were. I. I just. I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's just. Maybe that was our era, and it always feels special to us. But um, I'm sure there were some weird things about the eighties. What was the weirdest thing you remember about the eighties that you're kind of glad that isn't the case Parachute anymore? Pants. Something that gratefully died. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, parachute pants for corduroys. I would think Sean would have said perms. <laughs> oh yeah, Sean always had a new perm. Mm, no, that stuff smelled gross too. When you'd go into the barber shop, I only got a perm like, once, oh, and it oh. wasn't done. Did your mom or, or it wasn't did... done right? It wasn't done the way I wanted it. It was supposed to be loose, these big curls, you know, and. You know who did my perm? It was uh, um, Anita Tanner. <laughs> yeah. No, she did it in these tight curlers. Well, you're to talk, Brent. I always thought you had a perm. God gave me my perm. Uh, okay. I had, I had naturally right. curly hair. I only contemplated so getting a perm once, and then I was like, no. Yeah. I thought I was going to be cool like Scott Vance. Uh, makeup. What was weird is, well, talk about rock music. The guys that would, what they call it? Hair, hair metal? bands. Those guys look more female than the female oh, yeah. groupies and that Brett would Michaels, hang out and worship them. David Bowie. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, candy cigarettes. Ah, uh, an apple beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of a good thing they died. I mean, I, I thought we were cool. Big League Chew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's so nasty, man. So bad. Like chew was good. It was so juicy for like five minutes, you know, and then it became a rock in your mouth, you know. And you pull some more out. <laughs> yes, pretend you that you're really chewing. Stringing right? and all that. A little 12 year old out there. My, my that that actually chew. was a thing in, I think, high school chew, the real chew. Oh, yeah. That, that's, I, I'm, they're, they're, I'm so happy that that's died. I don't it, see any of the kids South. do that. What's that? It's alive and well in the South. Everybody dips. Oh, is there, all the kids do? Everybody dips. Oh, yes. geez, that's gross, man. Yes. Everybody. By the way, dip. Best thing for a bee sting or a hornet bite. Okay. I'll take your word for it. But it is. Yeah, especially when they spit in a uh, big gulp cup that's clear. That I had a partner that used to do that in the mortgage business, and he would... He'd come to work every day, and he'd Your bottle? I, he'd go through a can of chew every day, and just that sucker that's a looked lot. like black that's shit. A lot. It was horrible. I'm sure his I'm sure his jaw's gonna, you know, they're gonna yeah. have to remove it eventually. Get you. No, in the, in the South, it's it's huge, and like I was saying, I I remember our youngest. We were at a baseball tournament, and she got stung by a bee, and she was screaming, and it swole up and everything. And one of the the baseball coaches. He pulled dip right out of his lip, <laughs> flapped it on there, and like she looked up at him, and it stopped just like that. The pain stops oh, yeah. immediately. Yeah, it, it's oh, a real deal. Cool. Yeah. Well, they they use tobacco for cattle, right? Uh, for wounds, wounds, and bruises, yeah. not just cattle, yeah. but like human wounds. Yeah, yeah. It, like, it's good for the skin. Yeah. So tobacco's not all bad, right? So there you go. <laughs> See, well. All right. Well, it's been a, su a fun subject today. I was doing the research. I'm like, well, there's no way we can talk for an hour about what, you know, what happened in the 80s because the 80s were an amazing time. But we could probably uh, go another as far three as, hours, you Carl. know, this country too. Yeah, we never even talked about the politics or the history of what happened in the 80s. And there were some significant things that changed our world, like the Berlin Wall going down, Ronald Reagan and Brett was talking about sports. Um, some of the things that even to this day have affected how we do things now. So significant time period in our history. But uh, anyway, 
Mr. Uh, Gorbachev, no, tear down this wall. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So yeah. anyway, yeah, we'd fun. love to hear from fun. both of our listeners. That'd be awesome. Man. Like, give us some ideas and stuff. We'd love to hear that. What do you miss? Yeah, we should have a poll, like, who had the best hair of our neighborhood in, in the 80s? Oh, dude, that was me, hands down. I had that sun in at the bottom of my mullet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Never, you never wore a shirt. I know that. You just walk around half naked all the time like a freaking well, cave did, man. person. The best, man. Best time. Shorts. Dude, I didn't. That was it. I, I didn't. You I was pasty. Sunburn. That's why. You were pasty. I know. I was a pasty warrior, man. Yeah. So I didn't Mark, see Sean running around without a shirt either. Like, Mark, Matt, and I would like, you could watch like a chameleon out there just brown. I had... I was always jealous. You'd get so tan. Great episode, guys. <laughs> Wonderful. And again, yeah. like listeners, both of you guys, we'd love to hear any things that we may have missed. That's a terrible show. My wife loves that show, and I hate it. I hate Which Grease. Show? Grease. Oh, oh terrible yeah. show. I, I I don't mind it. I mean, John Travolta looks kind of dorky in it, but you terrible. know. Why are you worrying about what John show. Travolta looked like? I like her though. She's. I was more work concerned about John. Let's get physical, physical. Come on and get physical. Let me hear your body talk. Please don't ever do that again, Carl. Don't ever. ever that was do hot, that again. man. I was excited. <laughs> I was afraid we were going to start taking. Oh, hey! Off before we go, I, I will announce it. I had a hot date last night, so the I audience... thought you were going to mention that. Well, no, I'm not going to go into details. I don't kiss and tell, but it was a fun day. She's. She's a really nice lady. She could probably straighten my ass out, which I need desperately. Um, you guys will be happy to know that there's some progress being made. So um, I'll probably, this will definitely be a second date. And uh, I met her about three weeks ago online. It is a little bit of a distance. I, I don't know if you've ever been to Monticello, but uh, it is kind of a drive. But, Thomas Jefferson's uh, home? Yeah, I wish. No, no. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's actually a pretty little community. It's up in kind of the mountains a little bit, just above Moab. So it's close to Moab. Mo so that, that, yeah. But, but anyway, just want to let, I, I want to do it at the end. So you guys don't incessantly tease me the entire podcast. So, uh, well, strategic. Well, well, good for you, Carl. You know what Moab is famous yeah. for? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Biblically, you know what Moab is famous mm -mm. for? Jeeps. Uh-uh. In the Bible, Moab. The, fa the Jeeps. No, arches. Mm -mm, they were famous for uh, being incestuous. So is that still going on in the one in the southern oh, really? Utah? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know yeah. that. Yep. That's why the. That's why you're into that Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, that's action, why the. Sean. That's why that. the. Um. That's why the Jewish people hated the Moabites <laughs> because they were uh, they were considered corrupt because they their Red origins Sodom were uh, the. The two daughters that uh, tricked the dad into sleeping with them. Yeah, that's the Moabites. They were oh. basically they were basically Alabama. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Alabama. There you go. That's <laughs> bad. That's yep. bad. Or hey, episode, oh, one guys. last thing. What happened to your Tennessee balls, bro? Yeah. Wow. That was bad. Wow. Yeah. They had it exactly where they and wanted. The Cougs it. and Utes won, so that's good. So. Last second field goal. Yeah. Uh, USC so, four and, straight and, wins over USC. Yep. Yeah. Utes are so awesome. So yeah, Caleb's never beaten the Utes. It was it was that was quite a finish. Never man. will. It was pretty. What was his fingernail polish last night? Did you guys see? He's it? such a baby. He didn't. He kept no, it as calm the... and cool without any bulletin board. You know what though? He is actually a good person. If if you. Look yeah. at the stuff that he's done as a as a human, as a person. He actually is a pretty good kid. Hey, Again, Barnes, man. Barnes pulled a rabbit out of his hat that last drive. It was really good. Pig farmers, yeah. baby. Pig farmers. Pig farmers <laughs> know how to rock Sweet. it. So, all right, boys. You guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks for listening to Three Dad Bods, and make sure to catch their past episodes on Spotify, Apple, and Google, or wherever you get your podcasts. And make sure and leave a comment to help stroke their fragile egos. <laughs>